South African Union of Jewish Students, says firm action will be taken against the Witz SRC president following his Adolf Hitler Facebook post on Saturday. The union has branded Nebo Lamini a racist and says it'll ensure he no longer maintains his presidency. Lamini is in studio with us this morning. Welcome, Nebo. Thanks very much for coming in to talk to us. Let's get some clarity on this first of all. What, what do you say when you mean you love Hitler, you admire Hitler? What for? Well, uh, Joanne, it's unfortunate that uh, people decide to interpret uh, my words in their own way. And they omit the, the, the whole post, they pick, they extract what suits them for their own selfish ends. Well, the issue is that uh, I, was, I compared Nazi Germany and Israel, which uh, the space allowed me to do so. As an academic myself, I think I am allowed to scrutinize and to debate issues. It was a matter of comparing the two, Nazi Germany and uh, 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 Israel today. What, what was it, though, that you said you, you admired about Adolf Hitler? Well, uh, in as much as we, we, we all have been told that uh, Hitler stood for no good, but the sad part is that in as much as he was bad, there is a good side of him, in that he managed to uplift the spirit of the German people after it had went down in 1938. He managed to uplift the economy and infrastructure and to organize the German people to rally behind him. He rose from nowhere against all odds to become a leader, to become a figure. Then it is for us then to say, was he a good leader or a bad leader? But at the end, he was a leader. Fair, fair enough. I, I, I understand that. The, I mean, you, you're seeing the, the two sides of the individual here, but he used nationalism and he used particular techniques to, to foster that nationalism in order to grow his country. And some of those techniques included fear, they included marginalization of, of the Jews and, and other groups like communists, like homosexuals, uh, like uh, mixed German children that are known as the Rhineland bastards who were, who were half black and half German. He used, uh, he used brainwashing and, and discrimination. Is, is that the way one wants to go about building organizational sk skills or indeed building a country? To tell you the truth, Joan, uh, currently we are seeing organizations, we are seeing movements, we are seeing countries as a whole collapsing because leaders are failing to sell their idea to its, their people. Hitler managed to sell whether he's evil to the people and they believed it and they supported him. What is happening today? We see people wanting to lead themselves because they are no influential leaders anymore. For me, I, I, I am saying I admire his organizational abilities in that he managed to influence a nation. Let us not forget that Hitler was not a German uh, by birth. For him to come from another country to lead a powerful nation like German, it says a lot about the men. You, you, you make an interesting statement here, but uh, th there are others perhaps closer home that you, that you might want to look at and say, for example, you must, in, you must if, you organize, uh, if, you, if you admire Hitler's organization skills, you must give credit to someone like Hendrik Fravut, the, the architect of apartheid, for his organizational skills. He managed successfully to use a, a minority idea and ideology to dominate an entire majority of people using oppression. You, you might want to, to have a look not, not so far away at, at the Rwandan Tutsi government, who managed to wipe out uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of people in a very short space of time, also by their fantastic, although wicked, organizational skills. Surely you do, you do in a similar vein, uh, admire those people. Well, uh, Joanne, you have said it. Uh, let me tell you. It, there is nothing wrong. There are people who are admiring Cecil Rhodes today. When the black students in, in UCT were saying Cecil Rhodes must fall, there were white people who were defending it, bringing the good side of him, saying let's ignore the bad side of him. We didn't take them to Human Rights Commission. Now, I am saying there are 
white people who are defending Napoleon Bonaparte even today. They are people who are defending Leopold today. They are people who are defending George Bush, Tony Blair today, when they all have blood in their hands. What is wrong, therefore, for me to say, yes, Adolf Hitler, bad as he was, let us look at the good side. Was he that bad that there's nothing good about him? Then how did he manage to, 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 to wage a world war? To even bring a, a Germany to what it was. We are not saying that the killing six million of Jewish people is justified. It is not justifiable. But I am saying his organizational skills. That's what I admire from him. They, and, 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 and what puzzles me is that people make the Jewish Holocaust to be worse than the Black Holocaust, the, the Black Apartheid. They are making the Jewish Holocaust to be worse than Apartheid itself. Black people were killed. Black people were slaughtered. By your DPS, they sucked our country die. Try with your sun lamp, with your open hammers. But no one is talking about that because we are running away from engaging issues. When we bring issues, they bring anti-Semitism, they bring racism. A black man can't be racist. But, but are you stating yes. that as a fact? Yes, black men can be racist. How, how is that, how is that because possible? Race, and I want to... Because racism, Joanne, it's power. Racism is power. Racism so, so is saying, influence. So you're saying, I don't have power. So you're saying, you're saying that, that any of our leaders, any of our leaders who, who may be racist or may ex express, racist, uh, express racist sentiments is, is not capable of racism even though they hold power? You see, when you talk about race, we are talking about inferior and superiority. As a black man today sitting next to you, a black child, I am inferior, I am still subjected to poverty, inequality, and, 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 and un unemployment. And as much as we are studying, we are not guaranteed of our jobs. Now, a black man can't be racist because we don't have power and we don't have influence. Race is when you use your power and influence to subject people into inferiority. Utterances can't be racist. Let us engage. If I can show you my inboxes, the insult from the Jewish kids, you can be shocked. I, I just want to move on to something that you said. Uh, you wrote that every white person has an element of Definitely. Adolf Hitler. And that, what, what element of Adolf Hitler would that be? Hate and racism. So Power are, mongers. Are, are you saying, are colonizers. You saying, are you saying that, that whites like George Bezos, for example, who participated in the liberation struggle, someone like that has an element of Adolf Hitler in him? Well, uh, you see, you are now, you see, I am generalizing. Yes, but that I is, am a very, saying, is that not a dangerous I am thing? In every, you're, an, you're an academic, yes, to be fair. Yeah, I am. And you know that generalizations are, 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 the, are the absolute anathema of academia. Yes. And you have made a blanket statement that all whites have an element of Adolf Hitler in them. There is an, there is an element of Adolf Hitler in all white people. And I still maintain that. And this is my argument. They, are, they have blood in their hands. When we say they have blood in their hands, we are not saying him, George Bezos, went and killed. But white people colonized us. They dispersed us. They enslaved our people. They sucked our economy dry. They are still sucking it dry even today. That's white people. Tony Blair, George Bush, uh, Napoleon Bonaparte, Leo Poole, Adolf Hitler, Benjamin Natinao, all white people, they are the same. They are racist and they are full of hate. Well, I mean, judging, judging from what you've said, many people may, may feel the same way about, about you after this interview. But, but I, I, I'm interested in this last statement you, you made, and this is our last one before I let you go, Mnebo. The same way I love Robert Mugabe, it has nothing to do with white people. Is it permissible for a black leader to oppress his people and get away with it because he's the same color as they are? No. So you don't think Robert Mugabe perhaps has an element of Adolf Hitler in him? Well, or any, uh, any other leader of color who has let oppressed me tell his you, people over the centuries? Let me tell you something. I love Robert Mugabe. I admire Robert Mugabe because white people made him to be what he is. 
They made him to look evil because that's their role, to make all of us black people to look evil and to hate ourselves. I can't hate Robert Mugabe. I love Robert Mugabe for what he did for Zimbabwe. Let me tell you, South Africa is still going to go that way of Zimbabwe. And Zimbabwe's economy is actually going up and our economy is going down because we have leaders who are scared of white people. Thanks very much for coming in to talk to us today. Mnebo Dlamini is, of course, the SRC president at Wits University.